Welcome back to Wave 3. Listen, John Ramsey along with my friend Sean Garber of Great A Auto Parts. And we're taking your phone calls at 571-5263. Talking about the big game, uh, we're specifically, we're talking about a house divided. Perhaps you and your kids, you and your wife, you all are divided on who you pull for. That makes for interesting conversation at the dinner table. Uh, give us a call. Once again, that's 571-5263. Sean, you ready to handle some of these calls here? I'm, I'm ready. All right, here we go. We're going to go to work here. Let's talk to, it looks like Wayne has been holding the longest, so let's get to Wayne. Wayne from Springfield. Wayne, welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going? All right, Wayne, give us your story. Well, uh, I won't be seeing the game live uh, in, uh, in uh, New Orleans. I'll be watching it on, uh, on a big screen TV like so many other people. But uh, my story is I go all the way back to Issel and Dampier on the radio with Kay Wood, and so I'm a longtime diehard cat fan. The thing is this, though. If if you're really a fan of, of what you see displayed and all these gifted athletes and all this discipline that goes into doing this and all of this expertise and genius and coaching, how then can you want to tear someone else down just to build yourself up? Nothing I ever tore down made me any bigger. I have the utmost of respect for all these top programs, uh, including uh, U of L. And, if, and, and when this game goes down, I want to go on record as wishing Coach Patino and the Cards uh, a good game. Wow. You know what, Wayne? I think, and Sean, I think you'd agree with me, that may be the intelligent call of the day. What do, you, what do you think? That's Wasn't that great? great? Yeah. A very, very well said, Wayne. Wayne very well articulated. And he still and took a side, right? He still said he was a UK fan. He said he was a UK fan, right. which is okay, right. but he said he respects both teams. Yep. And Wayne, well, well said. Now, now, don't get me wrong. I like hearing the other side. You know, it's, it's good to have a few wackadoodles in there every once in a while, but uh, <laughs> let, let, let's go. That's what I call them, wackadoodles. Let's go to Ellen in Louisville. Ellen, you're not a wackadoodle, are you? Hello, Ellen. Are you there? Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, well, I uh, have something to say about, I'm not talking about a house divided. Okay. Uh, I am a diehard Cards fan. I root for Louisville. Uh, but the people in my age group don't want anyone beating Kentucky except Louisville. So we love and respect Kentucky because we're Kentuckians. Okay, you know that's, that, that's my uh, most of the people in my age group feel the same way. Hmm. Now, if you don't mind me asking, your age group would be would be uh, let's put it this way, over fifty-five. Okay, <laughs> I think the more mature uh, fans, you know, uh, we uh, we love Kentucky. Don't ever want to see them lose a game unless okay. unless we can uh, lose it. You know, unless we're winning. Okay. Thank you very much, and you better referee that game that's going on out there in your house. There was something going she on. She didn't there. sound a day over 25. <laughs> she did not sound a day right. over 25. Right. I'm sure if we could see her via television, she looks like she's 25 Absolutely. years old. Absolutely, with all those kids, have to. You're smooth, right. Sean. Yeah. You are smooth. <laughs> uh, let's talk a little bit about Great A Auto Parts real quick. Four cornerstones of your company. You told me this yesterday, and and, and tell, it really evolves. It's all about the customer, right? Very simple. I mean, it's it, the key. I mean, the key is the customer. But the four corners of our company are. Surround ourselves with good people, which we talked about. Nothing, I mean, essential. Listen to our customers. Check our ego at the door and check our greed at the door. It's, it's the four corners. We, we subscribe to it daily, and we subscribe to it so that we can provide our customers with that experience that we talked about. You know, you told me before, you said, I wouldn't recommend a business deal for anyone that I wouldn't accept if I were, if I were on his side of the table. Right. I like that. So you're saying it's got to be good for everyone. It's got to be good. I like, I like the sound of that. Now, we had a gentleman here, our, uh, actually it was one of our cameramen, Dennis, was asking, he said, you know, I pulled apart before at, at another place. And, and so the question is, will they pull, is this the way you do it at your place? To, can a customer come out and pull apart, or, or do you do that for them? Which way? It's a one-stop shop. We want to, we have, we have built our company on what the customers have told us they want. And uh, that's why we've combined um, auto parts with scrap metal recycling. That's why we've combined full service with UPIC. So if a customer comes in and they want us to pull apart, then we'll pull apart. If they want to, if it's a do-it-yourselfer and they want to go out and, and uh, monkey around with the car themselves, they have that opportunity as well. If they have aluminum cans or, or, or old copper wire that they've cleaned out of their garage, they can come and recycle and then come get a part for the car as well or vice versa. So we really have uh, built a company that will provide the service that our customers are looking for. Can I call or email your company? Like if I were looking for a certain part, you've got it in stock, and especially if it's got a, if it has a warranty on it, yep. if, if it, you know, the quality control that's so important to you. Certainly. If I've got that, can I just come, pick it up, it's ready to roll? You can, call, you can either call or you can call and ask if we have it. You can go on our website and uh, see if we have it. Um, but there's really no part that we can't get. Uh, we have a, an extensive network that we can locate uh, virtually anything that, that, that a person is looking for. So um, 
if you don't see it on the website, call us, and, uh, and we will do everything we can and, and make to be certain that the customer walks away satisfied. All right, I love that. Sean Garber, I like your business philosophy, and I think your business philosophy would really transcend into any business. Absolutely. If you treat the customer right, you're going to be successful. They're the boss. They're the boss. They yeah, are I the boss. Them, when I came in, I said, so Sean, I, I, get, I said, I'm coming into the boss's office. You said, I'm not the boss. No, I'm not the boss. It's <laughs> the customer. They're the ones that pay us, so that they're, they're the ones that... that uh, that, that we really cater to. All right, I wish more people thought like that. Sean Garber, Great A Auto Parts, GreatAAutoParts.com, four locations. Give them a look, see, I tell you what, if you think about scrap and metal, you know what, do it yourself. Grab that dishwasher, whatever whatever you're getting rid of, and do it yourself, make some money, why not? Great A Auto Parts, and if you need auto parts, that's a place to go save some money with quality warranty auto parts. All right, we'll be right back, Wave 3 listens.